Adams Spooky, they're all together ooky, the Adams Family. Good morning, Ephrata. My name's Avery. And I'm John. Today's Wednesday, October 17th. Please rise for a moment of silence and pledge to the flag. This is a reminder to all of Mr. Meyer's classes for today. Be sure to report to room 120, not 320, because of the STEM Summit. Again, Mr. Meyer's classes are to report to room 120 for class today. All of Mr. Jeremy Bischoff's classes are to report to room 124 today. Attention students in grades 10 to 12. Did you buy a yearbook last year? If so, please pick up your spring edition at lunch today. This self-adhesive insert includes all the spring sports, musical, graduation, and other events that took place at the end of last year. If you don't have a lunch period, please pick yours up at the attendance office. Hey boys and girls, it's w w w Wednesday. That means it's r r Robot Club today, right after school in room 320. Be there or be square. <laughs> Any student interested in competing in a STEM competition? Mrs. Brenner is looking for a team of five students to participate in the government STEM challenge and the governor's STEM challenge. This year's theme for the competition is improving Pennsylvania through STEM. She is looking for creative individuals to come up with a problem in Pennsylvania and create something to solve it. Funds are provided to make a prototype. We would meet after school every other week. See Mrs. Brenner in room 101 for any questions or if you are interested. Calling all 10th grade leaders, we'll be selecting an EHS sophomore to attend this year's Hobie Leadership Conference. The conference will be held at Shippensburg University from May 16th to May 19th, 2019. This will be an amazing opportunity to develop leadership skills and grow to be able to positively impact our world. In order to be considered as a selected nominee, please submit a one-page essay to the Guidance Counseling Office by October 25th this year. On the following topic. What does it take to be a good leader? In what ways would you consider yourself a good leader? In what ways do you still have room to grow? Now over to Abyss with the news. The first recreational cannabis to be legally bought in Canada was purchased last night on the eastern island of Newfoundland amid queues of hundreds of people. Canada has become the second country after Uruguay to legalize possession and use of recreational cannabis. Medical marijuana has been legal in the country since 2011, but concerns remain, including about the readiness of police forces to tackle drug-impairing driving. Information has been sent to 50 million households and about the law, and there is a public awareness campaign. On this day in 1907, the first commercial wireless telegraph is sent over, to, over the Atlantic Ocean. And in 1931, one of the most famous gangster of all time, Al Capone is sentenced to 11 years in federal prison for tax evasion. He is also fined $80,000. This is the beginning of for the for this is the beginning of the end for Capone and his criminal empire. That is, in the 1920s and 30s, had virtually run the city of Chicago. Now over to the juniors with lunch. It's October 17th. You know what time it is. It's lunchtime. Let's get it. All right. Chicken fries with a whole grain roll. Mountaineer cheeseburger. A Cuban panini. <laughs> Garden burger on a whole grain roll. Turkey BLT on flatbread. A peanut butter marshmallow sandwich with yogurt or string cheese. Uh, a taco salad. Stop. Stop. I'm sorry. Control your arm. Sorry, Wyatt. Uh, roasted zucchini and carrots. <laughs> With potatoes, red pepper strips and dip, pineapple chunks, or fresh fruit slushy. That's a slushy, baby. You heard it here first. Uh nice shot. 
shot. In sports results, yesterday the LL League met at Everett Middle School Cross Crunch Crewers. The girls placed fifth in the league with Mary Campbell, Alyssa Shek, and Lexi Rowe meddling in the top 25. The boys received sixth place overall with Andrew Foster and Ray Tru Truex meddling in the top 25 as well. Congrats to all of our cross country athletes and good luck at districts. The girls basketball open gyms will continue this Saturday from 9 to 10.30 a.m. at the high school and starting next week, Mondays and Wednesdays from 6 to 7.30 at the high school. If you have any questions, please stop down and talk to Coach Cirillo in room 133. Attention all senior girls interested in playing powder puff next practices on Thursday the 18th behind the rec center. Be there. Anyone interested in playing in the dodgeball tournament is urged to pick up a registration materials ASAP from Mr. Guy in room 129 or at Don't put it on. Don't put it off because entries are due October 24th. Please remember each team must raise at least $126 to enter with a three-game guarantee. All proceeds benefit the Juvenile Diabetes Association. In sports today, girls volleyball is home versus Lebanon, and JV football is home versus Cedar Cliff. Now back to the main desk. If you are in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade and interested in serving our country through the military, please come down to the guidance office before October 23rd to sign up for the ASFAP test. Uh, <clears throat> attention seniors, the senior class apparel orders are due this Friday. That is this Friday, October 19th. Turn in your forms today to Mr. Guy in room 129. Don't be left out. College-bound seniors, you need to complete your FAFSA before you can get any money for college, including certain scholarships. The first step is to get your federal student aid ID. Bring in your social security number and a valid email address to the cafeteria during all lunch periods today for assistance in getting your FAS or FSA ID. <laughs> all right, that's that's a wrap, I guess. Yeah.